is Rolex a nonprofit? The answer is no, but it is owned by a foundation. In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of history of how this came to be and explain why this impacts Rolex's distribution decisions. I'm Elizabeth with Oliver Smith Jeweler. We've been in the watch business for over 40 years. If you're interested in buying a Rolex, head to our website, oliversmithjeweler.com, and check out our signature pre-owned watch collection. While you're there, you can also chat live with one of our watch experts. They're happy to answer any questions you have about any of the makes or models you see. Hans Wildorf is the founder of Rolex and he establishes the business in the UK in the early 1900s. Now, after World War I, the UK wasn't as friendly of a place for businesses. There was a really high luxury tax, also really high taxes on gold. So Hans Wildorf actually moved his company to Switzerland, which is a little bit more of a watch friendly place at the time. 1944, Wilsdorf's wife passes away, and he didn't have any children to pass on the business to. This is when he began to set up his foundation. Before his death in 1960, he set up the Rolex Foundation, which had complete control over Rolex SA, the for-profit company. The control of the foundation went to five foundation trustees, and their job is not to run the Rolex business, it's to make sure that donations are sent and given to the appropriate charity causes. Now today, Rolex SA, which means in the US would be a similar term as corporation, has many different companies within it that are all under the control of the foundation. So yes, Rolex is a for-profit company, but then is owned by the foundation. So a little bit different in Switzerland than the US. In the US, if you're a nonprofit, 100% of your proceeds go back to the charity. Not necessarily here. What is nice is that Rolex, the watch company, can make its profits but reinvest them back into the business and then anything that's left, left over goes to Rolex's designated charitable causes which are chosen by the foundation. Because Rolex is a private company, they don't have to reveal how much money they're donating or if they've even made money at all. But we do know that there are a number of charities under the Rolex umbrella. There's the Rolex Institute, which furthers the company's charitable activities, Rolex Awards for Enterprise. This is to support men and women in the entrepreneurial space. We've got the Rolex Mentor and Program and the Protégé Arts Initiative, which helps support talented young artists. Uh, Wilsdorf himself was an orphan starting at the age of 12. So we do see a lot of Rolex's charitable causes help children and young adults, especially as in the creative fields and the entrepreneurial world. Now again, Rolex and the foundation don't have to tell us how much money they're making, but it is well hypothesized that Rolex's revenue is over $5 billion a year. That's billion with a B. So there's lots of money potentially left on the table for charitable causes. But let's talk about the perks of being run by the foundation. Obviously the first would be that they're not paying tax, which is pretty nice. But they also aren't a public company and they don't have to answer to any shareholders. So they don't have to be producing a super large increase in revenue year over year to satisfy all these people. They can do what's ever right for them and the foundation. Now we know as a brand they're not going to just flood the market with product because there's high demand that would ruin the brand, ruin sales in the future. But there has to be at play here that it is owned by, a, excuse me, run by a foundation and they don't have to increase revenues all the time. This has to be a part of their decision making process. All of that being said, if you do own a Rolex, I think you can be proud that the company gives back to so many charitable causes around the world. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below on what you think about Rolex's distribution. I know it's a hot topic and thanks for watching.